Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Show Title Pitting Episode. How'd it go? We still don't know. We still don't know. You forgot? <laughs> <laughs> you forgot our freaking slogan? I forgot our slogan. That's the whole point of the show. But anyways, guys, hi, I'm Bravo. I'm Jason. <laughs> I was drinking coffee. Toby. I'm Cynthia. And this is our, our, our wonderful guest for today. Oh my god, it's so hard Wouldn't to Wouldn't it be track. guests? Guests. You said guests. It's our guest, people. Thank you. Sorry. So as you can tell, this is a new setup that we're trying out. Uh, we are, we've are we got ourselves a nice you know, little production thing called a Black Magic Switcher. We're going to be using a switch between cameras for this episode. And the hard thing about it is we're supposed to have somebody managing it. Somebody, you know, named Chris. Last name Wrangle. Uh, and he is not here today. So I will be both managing the audio and the video. Actually, so you- he was just supposed to just do the mixer. He wasn't supposed to do the <laughs> That <laughs> that was supposed to be for someone else altogether. That's his job, nonetheless. <laughs> so uh, you're not gonna hear a lot of me talking because I'm gonna be like, uh, uh. <laughs> but <laughs> wait, did that, I, I didn't see that. Clearly. Oh, sorry. Let me do it. Let me it. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. So uh, today we invited uh, a wonderful new guest. Uh, Toby and Cynthia to kind of join us here today and provide a little bit of laughter and comedy. Uh, And as always, this episode is not sponsored by Kirkland Brand Water. Costco, please sponsor us. We could really use the money. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Is it Costco or Kirkland? Well, I think Kirkland Uh, is like, I think... Kirkland is a Costco brand. Oh, okay. I believe. Right? There you go. See, this this is is why. Wasn't Kirkland, though, its own brand at one time? That's the extent (laughs) of my knowledge. I have no idea. (laughs) But uh, anyway, so one thing we were talking about beforehand, and I don't know, we already said this in the uh, the podcast before, but uh, Chris Rangel, and, wow. and our and our love for our good buddy Chris. Uh, first of all, Happy Mother's Day! Yeah, Whenever you guys are going to see this happy this this episode, uh, it's most likely going to come out on Mother's Day, probably like yeah. a week and a half later, maybe. <laughs> but oh. um, Happy Mother's Day to everybody out there. Uh, we would be with our mothers, but uh, you guys are more important to us. Uh, some of us got chewed out. Yeah, our mothers. I got chewed out. <laughs> she was mad at me. She goes, "Where are you doing? Where are we doing Sunday?" I was like, "Oh, I got a film." Oh. She goes, "Oh, I see. Okay, you know, yeah, go do your thing. I only gave birth to you." <laughs> oh boy. Aww. I was like, "All right." <laughs> it took off. Are you bringing back anything? I was supposed to stop and get Philippe's. Oh, but uh, we'll are see you, how that goes. <laughs> are you going to? <laughs> <laughs> are you going to? You said I'm supposed to, so... you never been to Philippe's, right? No. It's a madhouse there. Uh, it's probably like, especially It's one of those kind of places where the line will go outside the building. And you just stand there waiting and waiting, and then once you get in, then you get in the real line. <laughs> That's just the line to get in the line. Wait, I don't understand. Why do they have those little wood chips on the floor? That's you got to go back to 1908 and ask them that question. That was, <laughs> is that it's, it's like is that something they have to like they clean it up and then the next day they bring more of it? It's like you know we need more wood chips. You know <laughs> <laughs> what is this place? Philippe's. It's a French dip spot off of Alameda and what the hell is that? Why do street? they have wood chips on the floor? I don't know. It's an old. It's been there since 1908. It's like it's it's like one of the original restaurants in downtown LA. Okay. It's good. I I like it. I know you okay. weren't too big of a fan of it, but. I've been going there since I was a kid. My mom's been going there since she was mm-hmm. a kid. My grandfather was going there when he was a kid. Mm-hmm. So it's just like, it's like a generational thing for us. But mm-hmm. yeah, there's like wood chips or like, is it wood chips or I mean, like shavings. Little, little, little shavings. Yeah, the shavings and stuff. Uh, I think back in the day too, you could eat peanuts and throw them on the floor. Mm. Oh, mm-hmm. peanuts. Yeah, yeah but <laughs> that was then. This is <laughs> now. <laughs> You never been there, right? No, I, I was pretty. Much, I'm sorry. Just go back to it's like yeah, you could just you could eat penises and just put them on the floor. I'm like yeah, wait what? Yeah, just fucking <laughs> oh, peanuts. Oh okay. No, I've never been. It's, is it primarily like what like a Mexican restaurant or something? No, it's a French dip spot. I know. Oh, it's yeah, just yeah. My bad. I it's like America. It's like Americana. Oh, but like okay. It's like one of those old school places that has like old school food. Food like mm-hmm. beet. No, it's a uh, fermented beet pickled eggs. What the. F- 
is that? So like mm-hmm. when you get the eggs, they're like purple. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. it's very salty. I don't. I mean, it sounds disgusting. What yeah. the? My <laughs> my cousin my cousin don't like them. He goes, "Don't eat that. That's like grandma and grandpa's food. That's when you couldn't afford anything, and that's yeah. all you can get." <laughs> huh. He goes, "That's that's old people poor food." <laughs> it's like old people. <laughs> It's like fuck. But uh, yeah, I'm supposed to go there. It's not cheap though. Like two yeah. sandwich. Like if I get four sandwiches, because my mom wants two, potato salad, and a kosher pickle. I'm looking at about like fifty bucks. Jesus, yes, about fifty bucks Ooh, with doggy. with with a slice of pie. That's about sixty eight bucks. Yeah, a slice of pie is eighteen dollars. Hmm. Two slices of pie. Sorry. Okay, what did okay, Mother okay. Mother Teresa make this? Or dude, it's good. It's really good. Ooh. It's all right. He don't like it. He likes. You like Coles though. Coles was good. That was good. That yeah, Coles oh, is another. Coles is another French dip spot mm-hmm. that opened up also in 1908. And then they say they're they're both their stores, both their restaurants say that they're the original French dip mm. in L.A. So who you believe is up to you, but they're both really good. They were probably brothers that separated. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there's a there's a deep storyline to it. Is just like we're gonna make the first French dip house. He's like, I want wood chips on the floor what yeah i want wood chips really no add it. like like, like seriously like, no <laughs> if you go to each one they're drastically different like one is you get in line there's a countertop they're literally cooking and serving your food right it, there it kind of reminds me what was that show cheers or- yeah it looks just like Coles. It. Coles has like a cheers look wait Coles or philippe's Coles. Cole, yeah. Coles has like a cheers look, like almost like a bar look. Oh, okay. So you sit down, they bring the food to you. This, uh, Philippe's is different. You wait there till they hand you your tray. Then you can go find a spot to go sit. Oh. It's one of those kinds. So it's trippy. Mm-hmm. And then one feels more like a mom and pop place. The other one, it's a restaurant, but it, it's also like a bar. So you can uh, sit, get a drink and all that while you're eating. It's, mm-hmm. it's trippy. Okay. Real quick before I continue. You guys can move the mics a little down so like you see where Jason has his kind of like right here by his mouth because it's like covering your guys' faces. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh boy, not that shot. Wait, <laughs> oh yeah, oh, no, the- boy. wait, how do I? Uh, so we just- oh, is that the one without the handle? Yeah, just just bring just it down. force it, just force tilt it down. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Okay. And then yeah, when you yeah. talk, just try to get as close as you can to like yeah. right here. Yeah. So if you need to, you can yeah, also yeah. adjust it like this. <laughs> like, wait a minute. <laughs> They're like newborn chicks learning how to fly. Hello. Hello. Is this better? better? Yeah. Can you hear them? Yeah, yeah, we can see them. Yeah. Okay. No, but can you hear them? Yeah, I can hear them. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, just because you can see them that doesn't mean you can hear them. <laughs> that's what they want you to think. That's how we hunt us. <laughs> so when I'm not speaking. Yeah, you, you sound great here? right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that they can see my face. And then when I am speaking, I'm over here. Yeah, here, there you sound the best. Okay. Yeah. Again, you can't be like around here. It's just going to, you could tell <coughs> it to go a little farther. Yeah. But if you come up really close to them, yeah, it's the best place. All right. Cool. Have you guys been to Tepeyak? Yeah, I've been there. No. Toby? Mm-mm. Okay, so that De- Tepeyac. Um, well, which one? The original one? The original one, yeah. Okay, yeah, I've been there. So Tepeyac, uh, for anybody who doesn't know, I think it's it was in East Los Angeles, right? Yeah. Um, what they're famously known for is their massive burritos. They're like, oh, it's a five pound Chile Verde burrito. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I swear to God, it's, it's like it infant. It's like yeah. <laughs> It's it's these fucking and that you could see the double layer like sometimes I don't know they used to have just like a singular massive tortilla mm-hmm. or I think now they just have smaller ones but multiply wrapped into it. That's something that I, w- I want to bring to the podcast one day. Do you eat them in one sitting? No, I don't know. I mean, I don't. Sure? I know okay. a football team can eat can like share it. <laughs> they used to, I think uh, there's a football huh. team that goes down there and eats it. They win. Huh? Yeah. They win. <laughs> I think we it should did, cheap. Yeah. No, we did succeed in eating it in one sitting. Who's uh, we? Is me and my buddies from high school. It was I think four of us. Did but see that sh- that makes sense. It's four. Of them. Yeah. Did you share it or did you each have one? We. She's ate, asking you if no, you've no, had if oh, you no, one no, I, sitting. Yeah. No, no, God, no. I okay. would. Could you do it? No. Why not? No, I can't. <laughs> no, I can't. Have you no. Although, I could probably do the... I don't know which state it was, but they have the big bowl of pho. I could... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I see, that looks too easy. I can eat that. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, management. Yes. Um, I'm insulted by the size of this thing. Kick it up, man. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Where's the salad bowl? <laughs> <laughs> you need to up your can, you do, can you do a sitting for hats? The chili first? No. No, I can't. No. No. What's what's in that one? The hat over there. In oh, the hat. Yeah, remember the chili fries? Have you been to the hat? What? 
No, no, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it it's, sucks, it's though, called you, the Hat. The, yeah. a, it's another old restaurant in, okay. in his old neighborhood in Alhambra called the Hat. The original okay. one is in is his neighborhood, but they are known for the, well, they're known for their pastrami, the world famous pastrami. Mm. But they have chili cheese fries. Now, it's not like like what you get at freaking uh Wiener Schnitzel. It's a little bot. No, you know the giant tray of sodas like like a whole four. Yeah, it's that filled with fries. With like three big scoops of chili and then three big handfuls of cheese on top. And if you want to go insane, you can then get pastrami topped on top of it. Wow. Yeah. Would you like that for here to go? I'll take it with the side of diabetes, please. <laughs> uh, the people are not going to know him, but Ricky can do it. He used to be able to sit down and eat the whole thing in one Ricky day. can oh eat that gosh. thing? Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah. And then he would spend two days in the toilet because. <laughs> 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 it was a process <laughs> yeah but I, I remember my friends my friends could all get their own order and just eat it and I was like wow yeah I'm gonna get a burger <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna be a wimp in this one yeah it's too much it kind of sucked about it too you had to eat it on that same day any later it's just it's rock solid you can't it eat it gross. anymore oh I see it, it's actually meant for like three or more huh I would say yeah yeah hmm. Yeah, but the, my friends are fat fucks, so. <laughs> I mean, look at me. <laughs> so would there be, like, a type of food you guys could just devour, like, on end? Like, like if, if there was a competition to eat that food, no. would you be able to do it? I mean, I could, if, if, if no competition, I can just eat. But, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> but not, I'm not going to compete, because I'll, I'll get sick. I'll ah. get sick. Like, yeah, like what, like the 50 hot dog guy? No, I'm not going to do that. That's my thing. I get sick, too. I, yeah. could, I could do it, but then I'd. Not feel good, and I don't. I don't. I don't. No. How much? How much could you eat? I mean, if it's fall, I could eat it all day, but not anything. <laughs> all right, remind me what pho is again? It's the um. <laughs> it's a. It's, it's a right? rice noodle. It's like a broth. Yeah. It's not ramen, but it. It's like a soupy broth, like ramen. It's got it's got but it's a very stuff different flavor. So it's a soup. Uh, the yeah. difference is uh, yeah. is 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 pho broth made made from pork smoke? No. Huh? I don't know. No, no. See, ramen is. I know ramen is. Yeah. Yeah. This is like beef. Yeah. That. Yeah. It's beef, liver, and stuff you like put that. The, the it's little, but like, what was it? A little bone marrow and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's you never great. had pho? No, I think I probably have. I just didn't know what it was. It was just food in front of me. It's and a so soup. I'm just it's a like... Vietnamese clear broth soup. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's yeah. what it is. It's clear broth. But is it like you add stuff to it? Or yeah. I mean, you could. Like, Are you, you just can. pounding away broth for fucking? No, there's like noodles. There's um, whatever the tendons, kind of. There's yeah, a. There's some um, those. Uh, there's those? uh flat meat. There's liver. There's what's the little balls? The meatballs. Yeah. Meatball. Yeah, there we go. I, I thought. It was, I mean, I, I, that's what I've been calling yeah, it. But yeah. um, yeah. there's different stuff in there. But Veggies. it's different from ramen. Yeah. So what what makes what makes it different than ramen? Ramen it's is Vietnamese. Well, that's the yeah. It's oh, oh, it's the chef. It's the chef. Oh, it's the I culture. See. It's the culture. The chef ain't Vietnamese, though. <laughs> we all know this. <laughs> but, but but what if it's like like Ricardo in the back making it? Does, does it become Mexican food then? <laughs> so the, the 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 Vietnamese owner goes to that and he smells it. It's good to go. <laughs> he it. Okay, Vietnamese it approval. We're good to go. Send it out, Raul. <laughs> A legitimate Vietnamese person. Yeah. It's Doesn't have to be a chef. Yeah. It's he just, just top ramen. <laughs> he fucking He's puts like, a V stamp. It's good. <laughs> it's good. Very good. <laughs> Get you it would out. You would almost be Vietnamese, but you're not. <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> Ricardo's like, gracias, señor. <laughs> Oh. What was that thing we were talking about? One time when we were on the phone, you were talking about the gyro, huh? The gyro being a, 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 a oh the Greek the 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 Greek food. Right? Yeah, he was like, "Isn't a gyro just a Greek burrito?" <laughs> and I was like, "Oh yeah." Then when we make fun, why don't we just use spaghetti noodles instead? <laughs> and you're like, "That's fucking disgusting." <laughs> yeah, I go <it's> noodles. <laughs> I think that practically makes it udon, right? Yeah, I think so. You ever uh, had udon? Is it were those those like very thick noodles? Yeah, 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 yeah. I got them at Kirkland. It's not a fan. Why sponsors? <laughs> why did you get them at Kirkland? Because <laughs> they were on sale. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed that everything I, everything that's in my pantry that I buy and eat is whatever is on sale in the bargain mm -hmm. bin. See, kids, remember if you're facing the 
utter doom of a possible recession. Look at your local bargain bin. There's some great deals in there. Every day you feel like you're facing this <laughs> fucking doom for a fucking recession. <laughs> That's how you go through a whole life. No, you know, you know what I mean? You feel like, damn, I am really living in that recession mind. Yeah. Was when I, oh, so I made them breakfast, a little bit of like breakfast things to eat before we started the, uh, the episode. And I made them bacon. And then Toby grabs some and he's like, oh man, you know what really good, well, good with this bacon? Some rice. Nice. You got some some rice <laughs> yeah. and i was like yeah give me like 10 minutes i got a big ass bag of rice down here. that's all i eat every day i feel like you, people can become more creative when you put yourself in a corner like you know oh, budget yeah. <laughs> you'll make use of it you know yeah. you, know, uh, you know the power you could find when you realize maybe you don't need two ply toilet paper you just have to get it at the right angle with the See, one I might, not, I might not have jam but i got ketchup <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking nasty. That's fucking nasty. Holy shit. <laughs> it grows from the ground. It's the same thing. <laughs> when we were at, when we used to work at Awesomeness, they didn't have milk. It was a Saturday. I had to work, and they had milk in the kitchen. So, but I found Italian creamer, and they had Captain Crunch. I'm like, well, it's kind of like milk. I fucking yeah. poured it in there. <laughs> oh, it wasn't good. Oh hell no! It's oh, Italian no. creamer. <laughs> It's like, yeah. it's like it's got uh, like it's got like that like that Italian flavor and then I got Captain Crunch which has its own flavor and then mix it together mm-hmm. it sucks but I wasn't gonna throw it away because I was hungry so I was like just power through it <laughs> let us know in the comments below what are some things you do when you're poor <laughs> then you know what I found out the guy's like are you eating creamer I'm like yeah he goes they've got milk upstairs it's too far I'm already <laughs> <laughs> I already did it <laughs> like, I'm not wasting that. this you can kind of trick me while I'm going to go make this stuff. <laughs> yeah, <sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> what do I use at the end? Is there anything you do that mm, well, you consider poor? I don't know. This wasn't poor. necessarily out of being poor, but more out of being lazy and desperate for some sugar. Like, I just wanted a cup of juice, and I didn't have juice, but I did have some emergency. So <laughs> that's what I had. And it, I got it. Like, it treated my fix. That's what I needed. Dude, you, you got the sugar and you got your daily dose and of I vitamin D. And I got my D. vitamin C. <laughs> I didn't so want, C. I C. C. So it was, it was, I guess, healthy. I wanted but lemonade, yeah. but I didn't. And also a I didn't have sad. all this stuff to make it. I didn't want mm-hmm. to do the process of making lemonade. So I just sucked on the lemon <laughs> drink <from> water. <laughs> <laughs> and just took a rip of sugar. <laughs> like, mm. Shame, I'm crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> it was the sugar cubes. I just let it dissolve in my mouth. <laughs> It's like mm. oh. the process is pretty, it's pretty much like. But a, I didn't want to like, wait. Like a reverse tequila shot, where it's like <laughs> you got the sugar right here on your yeah. palm, the water <laughs> bottle in your hand, and the lemon. You're like this. You're like, no, I, I would do this. I was doing this. This is what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> and I would spit out the seed. <laughs> We used to have a lemon tree, so I would just cut it. My dad's like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> like, oh, revolutionizing the lemon game. Oh, my God. I was like, I want lemonade, but I don't want to make it. He goes, just go up the street to the liquor store. <laughs> they got Minute Maid already ready. <laughs> and you're going to be like, no, that's too far. It's not the same. It's not. <laughs> oh, Cynthia, let me tell you about shit being too far. <laughs> so... so what uh one day when I used to live with my parents back in Alhambra, uh we we were doing we were recording something over there, yeah, right? We were recording. Or, yeah, we recording. We got done, we were gonna go get something to eat. Yes. So uh we came up to the end like, hey look, there's a literally a Domino's like half a block down into the right, mm-hmm. literally around the corner. And I'm like, hey guys, why don't we just get Domino's? And I said, Alright, cool, cool, yeah, no worries. And he's like, Okay, I'll drive. I said, oh don't worry, Jason. Like, we can literally just walk over there, pick it up, and we're done. <sighs> I didn't want to walk. <laughs> he's like that's too far I'm like Jason it's half a block down he's like look bravo when I got my license I swore these feet would never touch the concrete <laughs> ever again <laughs> and he fought me on this shit Wait, so you guys drove no oh, we, yeah, I lost we ended up I was gonna he drive. lost like, what did he lose <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> his pride as a man with a license <laughs> Once I told him I was like sometimes I'll back out just to grab my mail <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it was funny. I have to open the gate so I can get to my mailbox. <laughs> but it was right there. Dude, oh like, I, I, I have developed over the years. Um, like, being like being lazy helps you discover new things about yourself. Yeah. Where, like, if I drop clothing or if I drop anything, 
I ha- I have trained my feet to be like monkey hands. <laughs> yeah, to grab it. that yeah. shit like just <laughs> chuck it up or whatever. Or even one time, like I was so lazy to not stop and grab it. Mm-hmm. I just kept moving. I used my I put my feet <laughs> forward and I flipped it behind me so it went oh over my, my shoulder and just yeah. be like here we go nice. and just stopped i'm like that was so cool god that was so fucking lazy <laughs> <laughs> i did that one time when i was uh, went outside the water the grass barefoot i just used my foot to pick up the hose <laughs> i picked it up <laughs> my dad's like this fucking gorilla because <laughs> because it's like it's it's so useful like be, having your feet to be that ambidextrous like imagine the the combat you could be out in the street if you're wearing sandals you just like Honk them with your so you with want your a, toe. You want a devil? Yeah, yes, dude, return to monkey. <laughs> and then when I fucking start speaking, and they'll be like, "So is that for here to go, sir?" <laughs> I remember this one time I was at my cousin's house. We had this like uh, these cups, and I didn't want to grab it, so we just put our foot and <laughs> <laughs> and then eventually came, and then the the cup fell down, and then it broke, and then we just ran out. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, should we talk about yesterday with the cup? Oh yeah, go ahead. Oh, that's right. You guys went to a Dodgers game. We went there. to yeah. Dodgers game. And, sorry, Dad. You can get mad at me if you ever sees this. We're driving home, and he had <coughs> he had a lot to drink, so I was driving. He had to go to the bathroom. We were getting close to his house, but I took the I guess the the slower way, huh? Mm. Yeah, because the lights take longer off his exit. My dad couldn't hold it. He goes, I got to piss right now. He had a Dodger cup. He goes, Toby, can I use your cup? He goes, okay. And he's in the back. He just hear the fucking whizzy getting the plastic. Oh, no. And I was like, hey, don't get that on my carpet. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I cared about. <laughs> and, oh, no. and he was done. We were like, how do you feel, Dad? He goes, he only can see the smile on my face. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, good one, Dad. Oh, my God. Dude, he couldn't hold it. That shit was fun. Dude, there were so many drunk people at that game yesterday. It was funny. Did we win? We won. Uh, four uh, Padres to Dodgers four. What, what time did the game end? Four. It went till seven. Oh. Yeah. Well, okay. technically 6.30. 6.30 okay. it ended. It was okay, a fast okay. game. Okay. It was great. But there was a guy that was sitting behind us. That was dude great. was drunk, but he was oh, funny. Man. Every time one of the one of the... the his name was T.S. Jr. So I guess he was a uh, cop for steroids. And he was batting up, and the dude kept screaming, Cheater! He just kept screaming that all game. Cheater! Or lose! There was a couple of Padre, there was a couple uh, a couple who were Padre fans. They stand up. He's like, Sit your ass down! So we go, what was that rounded thing? Like, I see you! Oh, yeah, I see you! <laughs> just being a drunk. We go when we're ready to leave. We're going to. Uh, we had to go to the bathroom, and I was like right next to him in the urinal. He was so drunk, he had to prop himself up against the wall so he can piss. Oh, <laughs> oh boy! And he's like, "Let's go, Dodger!" Yeah. He's all screaming, like, "Bro, the game's over!" <laughs> oh. oh man! I, I remember my first Dodger game, uh, which actually sub- subsequently was my first beer, uh, which. <clears throat> legal beer uh mm-hmm. when i turned 21 my buddy my old friend ricardo he said bravo like you're in a dodger game i was like no like, my family really isn't into sports it's like fuck it let's go okay cool mm-hmm. and my dad he, he was like where are you going he's like oh i'm going to dodge you for this like, oh that's good i'm like you do know what tonight is right i'm like oh it's a wednesday and he's like okay yeah sure so we went great whatever they and he's like here you go it's your first beer it's like these tall i think it was a modello took me the whole game to finish that Mm-hmm. He's like, look, I'm not shitting on Modelo taste or fans, but not my thing. Did you throw up? No. Actually, I've only thrown up twice in my life. <gasps> what? Yes. You're and so both lucky. were violent. I was like, right. I'll get to that after this. Okay. Um, turns out it was a uh, Dodger gay night. Like, they were oh. like, they, yeah, it was like, gay night, yeah. And my dad then called me. He's like, son, I never knew. <laughs> I was like, fuck you. <laughs> Did you tell Ricardo, dude, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, honestly, bro, I had no idea. It was just a Dodger game. But uh, going back to throwing up. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, the last time I threw up is I once ate a, um, a I think it was a Vons. Like, cause you know, some, some Vons have delis. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And they make their own mm-hmm. stuff. A buddy of mine, I was helping him, his name is Franco. I was helping him with an audition. 
And he said, problem, let me buy you, like, food. Just, you know, okay, great. So he buys us, he buys a bunch of stuff at Vaughn's because he was there. And it's just a simple, like, ham and lettuce, yeah. bacon, tomato sandwich. Great. He eats one half, I eat the other half. Great. Driving home from, from there, I'm like, oh, something doesn't feel right. And I start mm-hmm. just sweating. Mm-hmm. And my body's like, no, Ryan, something's wrong. <laughs> right as I get to the door, as I bust, I was still with my parents at the time. I open the door. And luckily, there was the fucking trash, uh, the the trash the bucket yeah. that yeah. we throw the cat's poop in when we litter it. Oh, and I'm yeah. like, I'm like, and I grab yeah. it. I'm like, oh god! And I grab it. And, oh, just projectile oh, on it. Yeah. And a little bit of cat shit gets on my face, yeah. and I'm like, oh, ah! Hey. And like, oh, and it was just like a repeating oh, cycle no. of that. Oh, no. I got food poisoning yeah. for t- almost two days straight. I had shivers. Like yeah. my body was. It was like this is wrong. This is not yeah. right. Yeah. Um, that like I would just and hopefully you're not eating out there as you're listening to this. Uh, just projectiling from just both orifices mm-hmm. uh, and just I couldn't keep food down and I'm like I'm never eating Vaughn's again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I don't, I don't trust. I don't trust deli places. It was uh, frozen pizza bagels. Fro- oh, frozen I, pizza bagels. I had a couple and did you cook them wrong? No, oh, I, I microwaved them. That's oh. why I was surprised. They were they were warm, and then all of a sudden, mm-hmm. I just didn't feel. Good. I couldn't make it to the bathroom, so I, I was, I just found the trash can. I just curled in there. Reeked. Mm. What about you? It was Campbell's chicken noodle soup? Really? Yeah, that's disgusting. What? Yeah, never had it again. I can't do, so it. I, I can't do pizza bagels no more. Damn. Yeah. What do I use it? A lot of stuff. It's sad. <laughs> I love. I love food. I yeah. mean, when I was little, I remember like a super, I had a super ripe mango, so I can't have soft mango. It's, it's gross to me. Lately, though, it's been McDonald's. I have not had McDonald's in like three or four years because I've thrown up twice. What? <laughs> the first time. Was it the same place like that you went to or is it just um, McDonald's in general? You know what? I can't even remember. I don't know. It was not the same place. The okay. first time I I was having a sad day, so I had it for more for breakfast and then i was still feeling sad so i had it for dinner did not go well <laughs> went to the er not the er oh, the wow. urgent care they yeah. put an iv through me what? i never had yeah i was like so dehydrated what was it was it a, a big mac or uh, a spicy what's, chicken sandwich i was about to say what, what what's, what's on the secret favorite? menu that we should avoid I, it was then, your favorite <laughs> it was yeah and then the second time i i used to work at a hospital so i worked overnight uh-huh. and i was <coughs> took a nap right after the shift so i woke up maybe around like 3 p.m starving <coughs> and i just chugged a whole fan like a large fanta large fries and oh, i don't wow. even remember what sort of sandwich oh. all night i was very sad <laughs> and in pain and i was living at my parents house and like bless my mom she's she's great she she's the one that's there and like rubs my back when i'm yeah. feeling sick and then like she goes to work i'm still sick i throw up again and i text my dad because he's at home and i was like dad i threw up and he just like opens the door and like peeks through and he's like are you okay and i was like yeah he's like okay he just closes the door and walks like he, don't bother me he i'm can't eating handle that stuff. recently i but, had Oh, no, oh but he makes he, he'll make me all kinds of drinks so because yeah. you got to stay hydrated when you're sick yeah. so he'll make me fresh ginger tea he'll make oh, me that, that um, works. I don't do you guys have like hot jello do you have you ever drank hot jello before you freeze it not no. freeze it but yeah it's smooth it feels good when you're sick it's great it's like wow. gel like gelatin yeah like, yeah like gelatin but before it becomes gelatin it's still like the hot Oh, I know what you're hot saying. Water. Like, yeah, like yeah, yeah. you know how like, like oh. when you when you cool it down so it becomes gel, mm-hmm. it's that liquid form still. Yeah, oh, no. that feels great. And then one time, my dad put tequila in one of my teas because my mom's <laughs> like, was, it'll was... kill the virus. <laughs> it was like in my liver. Nothing survives this. <laughs> yeah, exactly, and it'll you know kill what? all the germs. <laughs> I feel like it worked too. <laughs> like it was great. <laughs> So that sounds yeah. awesome. I don't think that one, if I get sick, my mom would put her hands right here and say, why'd you get sick, huh? <laughs> I, I, I was I was just about to say, because you're like, it's like, yeah, my mother's the one who brought my back. My yeah. mom and my dad say, what the fuck did you do? Hmm? What did you do? Why did you get sick? Okay. He's like, I told you to wear a sweater. I told, I was like, mom, I wore a sweater. This is something I ate. Why did you eat that crap? Mm-hmm. Huh? What was that? Uh, what's that bullshit you've told me about? You have too much cold in your body? 
Yeah, there's this weird Asian thing where <laughs> apparently there's a balance between hot air and cold air in your body. Oh, I heard about it, yeah. Yes, and then, like, my mom would say, like, because it's too damn hot, so I like, to, I like to take off my sweater when I sleep. Then my mom's like, you're having too much cold air, and, and when I get sick, she's like, that's mm. why you, you should have worn your sweater. That's why you're sick. Now I have to take care of you, not knowing, the, you know, how germs work, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Richard said it too, and you're like, "That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard." Yeah. Oh my gosh. Challenged it, like that whole thing. You guys sleep with the fan on when you're napping or anything? I, I do. don't, but my husband does, and I don't like. It. I, I, I can't. It's what it is. I've the done the it. reason, no, the reason being is like when when I was born, I had like like a, something was wrong with my head that I used to have seizures a lot. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, look, you guys know <laughs> the story. I'm not supposed to even be alive, but thank you, Mexican healthcare system. Uh, I'm alive because of them. Uh, and so the doctors told my mom, hey, since the, the temperature controlling your body, and everybody has mm-hmm. it, um, got fucked up on your son, every time he goes to sleep, my temperature plummets more than needed to oh. fight off infections. So technically, I get sicker when I go when I rest. So if I have the fan on, even if I'm covered, yeah, and my body, body I get sick drop. if I have the fan on. But during the summer, it, it's like a fight mm-hmm. every single day. But no, I I'd like to have it on while I'm awake. I can't have it on when I'm asleep. Mm-hmm. I I see. I'll sleep with the fan. Like, if this is my bed, the fan's right here. Oh, and I'll just oh, let you right straight. Oh, I was, I was, yeah. like, I was well, like, I don't care. I'm dying of heat in this house. I've heard that like I mean, it's an Asian culture that so if you have the fan on while you're sleeping, you could die. <laughs> I don't know where that comes from. No, <laughs> listen, I get it. No, somebody's gonna yeah. come in. He's like, he's like, the germs are gonna kill me. Some fucking guy with the fan on. Oh, he has his fan on. So what you're telling me? <laughs> telling me the germs aren't going to kill me ken more fans are going to kill me apparently so because mm-hmm. again the whole concession with the hot and cold air it's too much cold air and you die mm-hmm. i don't know how that works so i asked my mom and i told her how does that work please tell me so i would know sure. and she said don't question it it's just the way it is <laughs> yeah it is just the way it is and i was like bro so i googled it and that there is like you do say that, like, you know, you could die from... It came from, like, Korea, apparently, and it traveled all the way towards Vietnam. I don't know how that works, but... <laughs> but, so yeah. That's the best yeah. Korean export. <laughs> yeah. So, every time I have the fan on, especially during the summer, like, last summer, it was really hot. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, I'm sleeping with the fan on, and my mom turns it off, and I'm like, why is it so hot? And then she's like, you're gonna die. I was like, I'm dying from the heat. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Dude, yesterday was hot. We were in the sun. Oh, boy, oh, yeah. Just cooking. Uh, that sucked. Oh, my <laughs> we're God. We're out in the middle of the sun, and meanwhile, we're looking across from us. Everyone's in nice to say it. I'm like, fuck you guys. <laughs> we're all dying over here. <laughs> Fucking mm-hmm. field labor heat over here. <laughs> do, you guys know, do you guys know of any... Um, like folklore like remedies like oh my for, or like myths and stuff like that like for me it's the egg i know about that one you do, do you not know about the egg i, I don't know I'm you not rub sure. an egg all over your body you put it under your bed oh. the next day you throw you crack it and throw it away all the evil goes away oh i did not apparently know apparently it's supposed to like absorb all the 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 bad energy yeah. and all the the the, the bad vibes and mm-hmm. stuff like that that like during the <coughs> moment they like they're you see grandmothers mm-hmm, grab like mm-hmm. a good old white egg and just and i'm and you'd be like what are you doing he's like i'm getting everything out of you the evilness the spirits he's like you're fucking up my foundation grandma mm-hmm. uh and he's like Shh, don't, don't don't question me i was like oh I'm sorry and like and again the entire body like they would feel almost like mm-hmm. <laughs> like some chakra chi shit they're redirecting it into a different part of your body and then at the end some people i've heard that either they put it under their bed some put it in warm water to like yeah. bake the evil into the egg or some shit. Interesting. Uh, hard boiled egg. Yeah, hard boiled yeah. egg. <laughs> yeah. Eat it. It'll make you sweat. <laughs> and some eat it. Other crack it. Other just fucking chuck it into the mm-hmm. waters. Um, but uh, yeah, and I shit you not. Sometimes that shit works. <laughs> yeah, it was good. It, it, you feel like it does? It, do you only do that for children or for anyone? Nah, adults. Okay, okay. Anybody. anybody. My I mom have... does the whole sage thing. She'll go around mm-hmm. and then I get mad because it smells like sage in the house. Mm-hmm. Well, apparently sage, certain types of like um, plants that when they're burned, they keep like mosquitoes and, sh- and stuff away. I think I know some like... have hallucination effects. That's the best There's kind. There's also that. <laughs> yeah. It's the best kind. Nico, I'm sending you to meet God real quick. <laughs> 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 yeah, 
yeah, because like, uh, yo, you guys at home can't see this, but uh, I, I was raised Catholic. I'm not that much of a practicing Catholic, but one thing that I did even when I moved into this apartment, and I do every year, is uh, if you guys look over there by the door, you see a cross made from like a specific leaf from a palm tree and three coins that are supposed to like signify the inc the bringing mm. of wealth and mm. you know like the filtering of evil spirits or stopping them from coming in um the thing is i think my mom i've never seen any other latin family do the, the coin thing mm. i've only seen my mother do it and i and i remember asking her I was like mom where did you get this like this is something that i, I learned in church it's, this is like oh no mijo like i got this from asian people because it works for them oh my mother is very cultured like she, she will grab things from other other cultures. Hold on, of this. hold on. He's looking confused. You know anything about this <laughs> coin? I never heard of this coin thing. I I don't. I, that's what I'm saying. Because I asked her, I'm like, Mom, where'd you get it? She's like, because <laughs> she's she's taking it from others. Because like, um, back in Alhambra, for anybody who's never been to Alhambra, California, it's a primarily Asian community. There's like a plethora of different types of Asian cultures there: Chinese, Vietnamese, Thai, Japanese, Korean, all that whatnot. Um, Is Japanese in Alhambra? Yeah. I don't have the no, fucking no. house numbers. He's <laughs> like, and here we show have the, the Japanese. It's, it's, the statistics. And we're going to be doing like a, like a tour. He's like, welcome to our only Japanese I residence. I want to see the Let's consensus. You're like, you knock the door. <laughs> you Japanese? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why? <laughs> we're not All in a right. world war right now, are we? Oh my God. I got up to Rosemary. I counted five. <laughs> I mean, you guys. <laughs> 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 Dude, you knocked it up. Oh, hi, what do you say? <laughs> what do you say? What, what's the code word? <laughs> um, no, but yeah, like she said that she got it from them, like bringing in good luck and it's mm -hmm. all about wealth and what. I'm like, all right, great. But yeah, I, I, I do that here as well. But um, you guys have any other um, folklore? Um, well, I want to I stay on this coin thing. I mean, do you like, do they, they flip a coin or heads? It's going to be a good day. All right, get off the chair. <laughs> <laughs> Something might happen. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only specifically minted coins from yeah. a certain year. <laughs> you have to flip that. Like, how do you get the coins? Like, like I want you to lick this coin. This will be the lucky coin. He's like, I don't know where that coin is, but just lick it. <laughs> this no. is the one. This is no. rare, okay? It's real silver. Look at the edge. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, yeah. no, we just get, uh, I think usually it's the three shiniest quarters that you have. Uh, the cleanest, the, the quote-unquote purest. Mm -hmm. Uh, and you just put them in a little triangle. You put the tape on them to just hold them up by the door. That sounds like a cult. <laughs> well, well, I'll tell you this right now. A fine line. I'll, <laughs> I'll tell you this right now. My mother has such weird luck with religion because, like, my mom, my mom, she went to like school when she was younger. She went to like nuns. Like she was, she was trained, mm -hmm. yeah, taught by nuns and all that. My grandmother. Well, same. Also. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> and so, um. She she told me that she was really into Catholicism. She still is. She's not like one of those like hardcore mm -hmm. Bible thumpers who are like, no, you have to say. No, she's very open minded. She's like, son, there's a reason all these religions exist in the world. Learn from them. Mm -hmm. He's like, see what they have to teach you. Mm -hmm. All she knows is just don't be an asshole. Simple as that. Just don't be a dick. Mm -hmm. He's like, but if they're dicks to you, you fight back. <laughs> I was like, got it. He's like, but um, the the pretty much she 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 just doesn't do a blessing she just says these are just supposed to help represent the wealth and she whenever she's been like down in luck when it comes to like money and she used to tell me when we went to, to disneyland for the first, first time they were poor i'm surprised how they got how they bought tickets to get disneyland but she said son we had like five dollars to our name and you were hungry and i was just feeling just like fuck how am i gonna feed you how are we gonna feed ourselves just down luck and she said she was just praying, just like some some relief. She said, son, I shit you not, within two minutes, we were walking, and I felt a weird crunch thinking it's a leaf. I looked down, it was a $100 bill. Wow. Oh, wow. Like, wow. perfect. And she even looked, she asked, she's because she's just a thief. Yeah, she's like, right. did it belong to anybody? Nobody's like, no. And I'm like, you had people tell you no to a hundred dollars, <laughs> man. God does work in mysterious yeah. ways. <laughs> and there have been times where she tells me she's like, "Son, I've been at a bus stop, and it's just like, man, I'm kind of hungry." Or like, "Man, I could really use this." But you know, she's fine with what she has. Mm -hmm. She would just find fucking money, or she's like, "God, I could really use a job." A, a ten minutes later, she's like, "Maria, my mom's name." Uh, he's like, "Hey, we're looking for this type of this. Would you be interested in working? We'll pay you this much." She's like, "Okay, sure." I'm like, mom, do you just not have a monkey paw? Or like, you mm -hmm. making these wishes? What the fuck? And he's like, no, son, that's the power of Jesus. 
<laughs> is is your mom a grateful person? Oh yeah, she is. Yeah, hmm. yeah. She 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 knows yeah. how to. Here's a, the duality of my mother, is um, she is very grateful for everything she has. Mm-hmm. She she can make anything out of nothing. Mm-hmm. But this woman <laughs> is a fucking wild card when it comes to you don't cross shit with her. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, I don't know if my yeah. mom's gonna like this that I'm gonna say this story. She used to her and her sisters used to have a nickname called the Devils of Tarimoro. My mom used to go around beating the ever-living shit out of young boys, her age, if not older, uh, to where their family was known, because she's like the third of like seven children. Whoa. The third oldest. Oh, yeah. 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 That, that stereotype is true. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And uh, my grandma once showed me a receipt from a doctor, a, a, like a surgeon, you know, it's, there was a town uh, in the middle of nowhere uh, that said, fixing for a broken rib a shattered nose, and the reattachment of an earlobe. My mom fought three young guys that pretty much were teasing her because she was very dark-skinned at the time. Yeah. Like, I think right now she kind of has, like, your your skin color, yeah. Cynthia, a little bit like yeah. that. But she was very dark-skinned. Um, she said that these kids would not leave me alone. So I stood up for myself. She said she straight up fucking one-punched man. The, the first kid shattered his nose, mm-hmm. came around, kicked the other kid in the rib, shattered it, and then leapt onto the other kid, started beating on him. He threw a punch. She, like, dodged it. And just, she said, I don't know. I had a feeling of just biting and ripping his ear off. That's Whoa. how she met Happy Mother's father. Day to your mom. <laughs> yeah. That's how oh I met God. your father. <laughs> and my, my grandma, she was the one telling me, my grandma was the one telling me this story. And my mom's like, why are you telling him this shit? He's like, so he knows where he came from. Mm-hmm. So if you ever get mad at him for fighting, he got wow. it from you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my dad, I think he like he studied martial arts. Like he, my dad at the time. Wait, here's a question. Where did they meet? That's a good question. I have yet to ever know that answer. Wait, who? Your parents or yeah. grandparents? My parents. My parents. Uh, yeah, because my parents aren't married. They never were. They, right. they had me. To, to this day, I am like mom. I was born. I, I was born in September. My mom's birthday is in January, and it's also New Year's. And I'm like mom. Be honest with me. Was I a mistake? <laughs> it's a nine month period yeah and she's like no son you're precious he's like no no I'm not saying you don't love me mom right. I'm asking you to know. <laughs> like, was, was I, I was, unplanned was I unplanned uh, and she, were your she, plans <laughs> altered because of me <laughs> <laughs> just be honest just be honest I'm already here you can't return me to the goodwill what the fuck right yeah. um, you can't leave me on the steps <laughs> Foster care won't take me now. And every single time she's like, No, Mijo, don't say that. I'm like, No, mom, answer the question. Right. You're, why are you walking away? You know, maybe you could ask her, Was I the $100 bill that was you I found? <laughs> you know, not a mistake, a blessing, but one you didn't was, expect. Was I the curse that now God is making up for? <laughs> All that good luck I'm giving you, it's time to pay. Oh. Yeah. Huh. Actually, wait, and and Jason has 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 seen this. Uh, you've seen that I have some fucking shit luck from time to time. Oh yeah. Um, my my rolling theory is well, that. Let me talk about the fucking cables. Oh my god. He got this. Uh-huh. He literally got this. He did the test by himself. He had three cables. Two of them broken. They were brand new. Mm-hmm. He had to order two new ones, and now they work. Oh, now the ones that were broken now work? No, no, no. They, they were oh. brand new right out of the bag. Uh-huh. And they didn't work. And they didn't uh, okay. work. Yeah. There's more. Then there was a time when we were at WonderCon. He, his Zoom, he's never used it. He uses it one day. He breaks the power switch. Uh-huh. And then when he tried to get it fixed, it was Passover. So they were closed <laughs> for a whole week. This, this was the day. Let me, let me, let me dive into the story before we get my bad luck rant. rant. So this happened. Uh, we were we were shooting some stuff at WonderCon, like when we first started. Oddly, we were, we were trying something. Wait, let me tell. You, okay, it's okay, funny okay, from okay. my perspective. Go for it. <laughs> he's he's getting the audio. He's getting the, the recorder ready, and it, it was working for a minute. Yeah, we it recorded was for, for a, a minute. Bit, yeah, and then I we took a break. We sit down. Um, at WonderCon, there's like a little area where you can sit and just kind of just decompress mm-hmm. during the whole convention. Mm-hmm. And you were trying to, I guess, turn it off or something, or turn it back on. Um, yeah, because uh, I, I, we didn't have enough batteries. So yeah, that's what I, it was. Any chance I didn't need it, I would turn it off. And I wasn't even doing it hard. It was just a, like a slight bump. Up. Yeah, he, it, you just all you have to do is slide it up once. It'll turn off, and then you push it down so you can lock it. So this way, you can't turn it on off. Mm-hmm. Well, he when he slid it back up to turn it off, he broke it. So now it's just loose. So now he can't turn it on or off. Mm-hmm. And so he's like, "Fuck! All right, let me let me get a hold of B and H." 
because you still had warranty. Yeah. And he's looking, trying to figure out, and we're just sitting there, and he just says really loud, what the fuck is Passover? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, it's a Jewish holiday. He goes, okay, but what is it? I was like, well, I'm not too sure what it is, but I know they celebrate it by not working. <laughs> he gets real mad. He goes, the whole week? <laughs> and I'm like, I guess. He was so mad. He oh goes, what the fuck? <laughs> For a quick second. I got a little racist. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Because, <laughs> again, I had, I had no idea what it was, right? Yeah. Like Again, I'm so used to, like, Catholic holidays, like, but one day or, like, you know, yeah. Ash Wednesday. They didn't or... talk about Passover in the Bible in Catholic school? I wasn't or do you not remember? Okay. I, <laughs> I was not paying attention. Right. I was just looking, what are the answers for the tests? And uh, that's all I would yeah. do. But, like, yeah, no, yeah, Jason hit it on the nail where it's like, I have it, I'm like, oh, damn it. It's, all right, maybe there's a way to, like, is there, like, a button or a reset that I could control it without the switch? And they're like, hi there, thank you for calling b and uh, Photo here in New York City. He's like, unfortunately, we will not be able to answer any calls or processes, any uh, orders, uh, due to the observance of Passover. Passover will go from this point to this mm -hmm. point. Jason? <laughs> yeah? What the fuck is Passover? <laughs> and he's like, I think it's a Jewish holiday. Why? <laughs> I, just, I, I wasn't thinking. And he's like, I, didn't, I don't know, dude, they're celebrating this. He's like, what are they doing so important for a whole week? <laughs> Uh, yeah. Remember when we went to Tony's wedding? That was your first time in a. In a yeah. Oh, oh yes. God. I'm not taking you ever. You, uh, were you raised Catholic or doing. Christian? Uh, Christian. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you know how, like, it, there's some similarities where, like, you oh, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You do the songs, you do the sign, mm -hmm. peace be to you, and also with you, that yes. whole, that yes, whole yes, thing. Yes, yeah. I'm not trying to insult anybody here, but. I'm not real big into religion. Sure. But I, I grew up Catholic. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we go in there. We're doing this. He's never been to a Catholic church or a Christian church. Oh. So he's not used to it. So we do the sign. He's doing Naruto hand gestures. So like, what the fuck are you doing? Just sit there. Don't do nothing. Oh, no. We're singing the songs. He's just like, what the fuck are these people doing? He's about to use summoning jutsu, summon Buddha into the I gotta bite my face. <laughs> so it comes time now to take the body and blood of Christ. I'm like, all right, Toby, let's go. He goes, go where? We gotta go up and take the body and blood. He looks in for a second, looks back at me. Nah, I'm not going up there. I was like, come on, dude, we gotta do it. It's out of respect. He goes, nah, bro. When I die and I go see Buddha's guy, like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> <laughs> it was the funniest. <laughs> the best part, we were running late. Because this one, back to his shit luck, he fucking hit a flat, he got a flat tire on the way to my house. Yeah. Oh no! Because that so, was a busy day. He, uh, yeah. you're not used to the San Gabriel Valley, right? You never. No. Been, okay. So to get to my house, where where you live, from where he's coming, it's about an hour and a half drive. Mm -hmm. We had to. He's coming from his from here mm -hmm. to Baldwin Park, which is again like an hour drive with traffic. Sure. From there, we're gonna go further east to go to San. San Dimas? San Dimas. San Dimas. Mm -hmm. for, the, yeah. for the ceremony. Mm -hmm. And then from San Dimas, we're going to drive all the way down to Redondo Beach. Whoa. For the reception. What? So we, so he literally, he was doing the dang, yeah. dang, dang, dang. Yeah. Because I was, I, I, you could have driven to the ceremony and just gone straight up, but you would have hit so much yeah, traffic. I would have been we screwed. Were, it was, that day was just like, oh my God, it was a mm -hmm. long day. He leaves his house. And you don't have AC in your car, huh? No, I do. I just don't use it. And that's what he don't use it. He gets to my house. And I'm like, dude, what took so long? He's like, I had a flat tire. So he's trying to fix it. And I'll <laughs> he put the spare on. Didn't take a shower. He just said, screw up. Just wipe myself off. We're going to go. Mm -hmm. So we get there. We're there. They're already in the middle of the ceremony. He goes, shit, we're late. You hear an echo in the chair? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it was it, it, it it is, Dude, it is bombastic. <laughs> just the. Ain't no mother bother to shit or late. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. Was it at a church too? It was. Yeah. Yeah, it was a church. Oh my god! It was at a church. It was like so it was a real nice church too. It was a real oh, nice yeah. one. Yeah. So <laughs> I was like, oh my fucking god! The best way I could describe what kind of church this was, and I don't mean it in any bad way, but it was like it was one of those very clean, like yeah. white churches. Oh like, yeah, you, 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 you know exactly. You know exactly like what the, I'm talking about. Those real brand new yes. built ones, not like the ones where Catholic, right? 
This was Christian. Christian. Okay, this was okay Christian. then I know exactly yeah. what you're talking about. <laughs> they had about. nice chairs though. I was used to they the do. wooden the wooden benches yeah, that hurt like, your ass for hours. They like, do. Oh. They're cushioned. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they have cushioning. Meanwhile, like I'm going to my old church, fucking wood chairs. Like, oh, mm-hmm. the scoliosis this is for me. Right? Are, they, are those weddings yeah. really that long though? Yes. Oh yeah. If that yeah. that was actually short, dude. Really? Yeah, you should see a funeral. Oh. Yeah. Oh. God. <laughs> I mean, this is not this is not contesting to people who have died, but like. Look, there's a there's a reason why I stopped like, going to like, church. No, no. Let's be honest. They're gone. All right? <laughs> the fact that we're here should be enough. I can't, I went to the I went to the rosary. I said I saw you. I was like yeah, there you are. Get back to my seat. <laughs> let's put him in the ground and let's go get the food. <laughs> I'm sorry. Listen, why are long. they so long though? What exactly? So is okay, so mind you, I, I I am I am not uh, tradition. Uh, yeah, it's it's tradition. Like I'm not a father. I'm not any of that. But uh, a man of the cloth. But there's there is a certain thing you have to do. Like you first have to. Uh, do a type of prayer that yeah. sets up like we have gathered here today mm-hmm. for a reason. Great. Then we go down the the line of procession. Now this gathering is about this. Do a bunch of prayers. Great. Mm-hmm. Now it's about this. Meanwhile, a bunch of prayers. The pandulces you bought are getting stale. You can like minute. smell them. Yeah. The pandulces are getting stale. Like let's wrap so it up. If, if, if you don't do the prayers, does that mean you're like stuck on ghosts? Like you're gonna be you're here stuck the, in ghosts. stuck in ghost mode and you're you're here the whole time or what? <laughs> yes. Really? <laughs> no. That's purgatory, right? Like yeah. is, is this good. specifically the Catholic faith again? Yeah, I mean that's the only experience for that I've seen okay, for the okay. for the Catholic faith. Yeah. I haven't really been to many weddings, like Catholic weddings. Because mm-hmm. they're usually like all the way in Mexico and I'm not gonna fly to Mexico. Mm-hmm. But like those they're are long. even longer, yeah, long. dude. Dude. Because yeah. you're like <laughs> and they're like, all right, that's prayer one. Now for the two-hour soundtrack for prayer two, two. Um, <laughs> but the parties after go for like days. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Have you guys been to a lot of weddings? I've been to like an Asian. I've wedding. been to a couple of weddings. Mm-hmm. I've been to a lot of funerals because my my oh. family's friends and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but they're all relatively incredibly long. Yeah, I mean, I used to cater a lot of weddings, but yeah. those are like white people weddings, so yeah. they they're pretty fast. <laughs> Ceremony's fifteen minutes. You dance all night. And, uh, Pro- props uh, to our Caucasian mm-hmm. brothers and sisters out there for making yeah. it quick. Thank Honestly, you. <laughs> like they were the best guests too. It was 10 p.m. It's time to go. Yeah. Like, it was great. It was great. <laughs> they were punctual on like Latinos. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. I, was, uh, I, I went to the way more. She's like, all right, I'm here for the food. Where are we? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't care about your li- ever living, mm-hmm. living together. Let's just eat. Mm-hmm. Peace be with you and also with you. No, Where's I, my plate? I, 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 I sound rude for the funeral, but I'm sorry. It's like, it takes too long. I oh fall asleep. Like, like, I'm sorry. I fall asleep in, in every... Yeah. Like, my mom stopped taking me to church because it, I would fall asleep. Did I tell you when I got in trouble for playing Pokemon? <laughs> yeah. I told you that one, right? Yeah. I was playing it. It was, it was church, and all of a sudden, I forgot to turn on the volume. You just hear in the background. Oh, <laughs> no. It's a moment of silence. Father James wants to battle. <laughs> what are you gonna say? Well, I was just gonna tell you guys about the fav- my favorite wedding that I've catered. Oh. It was the last one that I ever catered. Um, and it, that's why it was your favorite. <laughs> yeah, dude, it was amazing. Um, the 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 bride walked down the aisle to Travis Scott. Um, d- d- I don't know why. And then uh, they were doing their their vows. The girl, the bride. It was nice standard bow. The guy, he nice was like, I love bow. you, babe. You're so <laughs> sexy, babe. You're so hot. I love you. And I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> like, Beautiful. He has Fucking like nice tattoos. Of our time. <laughs> white, white wedding. White yeah. people wedding. Okay. Um, <laughs> neck tattoos. Fine. Whatever. Interesting guy. Um, and then. <laughs> the hell? It, I thought it was funny. And then it was time to eat dinner bride and groom goes first because it was like a buffet yeah and he shows up he's like damn this food is dang <laughs> thank you so much they were very grateful yeah. which i'm glad they, they weren't assholes but they were bombastic <laughs> okay and then you off guard for a minute yeah i was like wow yo Usually these it's little like weird dogs coffee. are lit <laughs> yeah and then and then they do their their speeches at dinner and he's like, I want to thank my boys in black, talking to his groomsmen. He's like, this is a funeral. You know what I'm saying? A funeral. And I was just like, whose funeral is it? 
what do you mean? <laughs> what has died here? <laughs> um, and My then, singlehood, homie. <laughs> yeah. And then all night, they were a lot, like, they got really, really, dr- really, really drunk. Um, there were a lot of men crying because their girlfriends were yelling at them for getting so drunk. And it was, it was so entertaining. And that was my favorite wedding I've ever catered. <laughs> that sounds amazing. It was great. Just, I want to thank my boys in black. black. It's a funeral. <laughs> it's a funeral, dog. <laughs> it's like, I love, it reminds me of this one vine where it's this, 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 this like, Nate, like shirtless black dude with a guitar and these two other chicks on the side and the camera's rolling, mm-hmm. right? And he's like, he's, she's like, oh my God. And he's like, I love you, bitch. <laughs> You're my one, Yes. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that was the vibe the whole night. Somebody, somebody put in the comments, man, that's a true romantic man right there. Yeah, yeah. You know, I hope they're, they're doing okay. Because <laughs> I, was, I was a little worried there. I was was, like, it, was I, the wedding ratchet? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, they're not here, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, they all had a good time. That's all that yeah. matters. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Oh, we'll watch it. it we'll... But it was like it was fun, and they were all yeah. nice, yeah. just yeah. really partying. Remember some of the shoots that we would deal with that were fucking ratchet at work? Oh, yeah, <laughs> dude. There was one shoot. This dude. <laughs> this is how funny it was because he was trying to be so cool. He had a '94 Toyota Corolla. <laughs> <laughs> trying to make it feel like all cool he's jumping I'm like bro there ain't nothing cool about that 94 <laughs> like you didn't even wash the car <laughs> it looks like you just got off the freeway and started filming with it <laughs> that was the point like, this is the most ratchet looking thing the confidence in him <laughs> i love that should we like shoot a like a car commercial but with a really ugly car the pinto yeah <laughs> like a really oh, beat like up car that. and just we be do, like uh, like one little cerebral old script but make it realistic, <laughs> make it realistic. Mm. let's be honest you're not making a lot of money <laughs> dude yeah. i just thought of that line right now i was just like let's be real you know uh-huh. you can't afford this let me show you this <laughs> yeah. buy this now and then bitch you can buy this yeah. <laughs> Guess what? You buy you buy this. You get a photo of that. Right. There you go. <laughs> if you buy this, you can get to your job and hopefully save to get to there. <laughs> you don't have credit. You can call sign. It's not a big deal. <laughs> for me, but for you. <laughs> it's life or death. You better have job assurance. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I hope your job pays. Our boy Big Al, he's going to be a bit tough for you. <laughs> You can go side. It's not a big deal. <laughs> oh, I love that. I, you know, I'm going to add that to Let's the list. It. That's a good fucking... Yeah, can you, you can use my car. Yeah. It's, uh, it's super dented. It's the yellow one, One of the one, headlights right? doesn't work right now. Like, I got to get it fixed. Oh, man. Dude, my, She's my, janky. I had a 98 <laughs> Honda Civic. The back door wouldn't open on the left side. Mm-hmm. So I told my friends, if this car ever lights on fire, you got to go out the other way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I go to your park parkour skills what was guy. the car you drove or it made that grinding noise oh my god it was a oh, 92 toyota corolla oh man <laughs> i remember we we're going to philippe's no we're going to uh we went to ramen no no not ramen what was it the pizza place oh yes we went to the pizza place yeah and then like if you sat on the right side the back seat on the right side it um the weight it, would push it down we'll push mm. it down on the on the wheel and you would hear <laughs> so so we're dri- he's driving he's here, <laughs> we're just oh, staying no. quiet and he goes who wants to hear some music <laughs> 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 oh, yeah <my> God. <laughs> <That's-> <laughs> Just, like, I could just imagine that awkward sound. Like, <laughs> it's like, hey, let's hear some music. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, the radio was like, <laughs> yeah. <trying> to- <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my God. How they fixed it? <laughs> my <laughs> uncle. <laughs> He's the best. What did he, what did he do? He got those big flies. He bent it and he didn't do it again. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Tell, tell that hood story about your cousin. He got the when he got the ninety eight. He wanted the remember your uncle went to the junkyard to find the new hood. Oh, yeah, he went. That he store. went to the junk. You know, so okay. we we okay. So my uncle, yeah. So my uncle. So we don't have a lot of money. So our go to guy is my uncle, and he will make anything work. Mm-hmm. So we go to this place called Pick Apart in um what city was that uh Almani? next to Monrovia and El Monte. Oh, Arcadia. Yeah, are, is it? Basically, it's a big junkyard, yeah. and it, I've never been to a junkyard. Irwindale. Junk it's Irwindale. Irwindale? Yeah. 
I've never been to a junkyard, but it's pretty mm -hmm. cool. Like you, you can basically like take parts from from uh from an old car and probably hide it for next time when you don't have enough when you don't have enough money. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, so my uncle gets this hood from a, from a totally different car. I thought it was the same thing, and he's teaching me how to be like basically uh like skills that you would learn to be you know to be self efficient. Mm -hmm. So my uncle's teaching me never do a Mickey Mouse job. That's the worst thing you could do. And he's been, he's welding he's welding the hood he's welding the hood to a different car onto another car. And he's telling me don't do a Mickey Mouse job. Uh, what what you is at? a Mickey Mouse job? It's just like a slang for like 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 we we say like a Mickey Mouse job would be like so instead of like fixing your car properly mm -hmm. you're doing the cheapest alternative i see at the quickest mm -hmm. but it's not the most efficient right, right like or will last like, longest yeah. pretty bad an analogy but like, imagine if you had something that you were uh you had two screws right you have mm -hmm. one uh you want both of the same one you got one big one and one small one mm -hmm. that's like <laughs> Mickey Mouse. or another one be like let's say like like you need to host something up underneath mm -hmm. but you don't have the actual proper tools so they'll use fucking zip ties oh okay yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's a Mickey Mouse job. It's like a half-ass job. It gets the job <coughs> done. So like, like when I wanted emergency, when I wanted juice, but I had emergency. Yeah, that was a Mickey Mouse okay, job. Okay, great. <laughs> I did the, when I did the lemonade, that's yeah. a Mickey Mouse job. I see, I see, I see. Except, oh. actually, there was positives completely in that. You got I mean, vitamins, you got kids, yeah, it wasn't really a problem. I still wanted juice, yeah. but yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Right. Right. Your cousin's reaction is like, this is what I wanted. Right. <laughs> he goes, <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna like it. Take it and like it. You can't afford it. <laughs> how, how janky did it look? It, it was not good. It, was, yeah. it, it looked like it was sliding off, but he had he had a system. In work. <laughs> he used zip ties to crack. Dude, one time uh, I pick it up his cousin, who's, uh, who's the son of his uncle, and he had this big. That was the the day I picked up the forty nine inch monitor. Yeah. And it wouldn't fit. And his uncle comes out and goes, we'll get it to fit. He starts shoving it in there. He goes, there, it's it. I'm in the car like this. Oh it's not like, goodness. all right, we got to adjust this. So I start pushing it. So Jackie, so Jackie's sitting like this in my car. He's just like, like this. And I got room. I'm like, all right, I'm going to drop this off. We go to the restaurant. I'm like, here, Toby, take this. He goes, that's too big. I don't want it. Like, Fuck you. I'm not taking it back. <laughs> He's like, how'd my uncle get this in here? So let us know in the comments below, what have been your Mickey Mouse stories? And what should have you done to find a way to get it done no matter oh, what? Oh, man. Ugh. Oh, my God. Oh, dude. Has your dad ever done a Mickey Mouse job? No. Nah. Not one? Not one. Dude, let me tell you about my father. <clears throat> this man is so precise in the way he does things. Cause, and that's also I also got for him. Like I am my my father's son i'm a very prideful person when it comes to my work mm -hmm. and my dad is pretty much a self-taught engineer carpenter welder like yeah. he never went he never really went to school for these sort of things he's just like well there's the instruction manual let me just read it uh and so when it comes to like the the table that i have over yeah, there yeah. in my room yeah, he, built, he it. built it out of scraps uh but it's like the strongest table i've ever seen it's holding up more than it really should mm -hmm. um the cars my computers, the furniture, uh, the furniture, the furniture in in my in the old apartment, everything he built himself, and the idea is that he told me he's like, wait, where does he build out of the garage? Out of the garage, yeah. He just I've never car. seen his work. I've never seen like a table saw or anything. He has, it, yeah. Oh, he does have it. He, okay. It's it's like all perfectly jam packed into a small garage, <laughs> and he'll just wow. take out whatever he needs and like he will open up the small garage that he has and just work outside <laughs> of it or inside of it. Um, and when he's not building, he's watching his neighbor across the street fuck himself up. Yeah, and he's just like fucking. Does he him. have it where I'm like like my uncle? He, it's all scattered, but he just knows where it is. It's right over there in that pile. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing: is I'm like that. Like I, <laughs> I'm very disorganized. It looks like a mess, but I know where everything is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my dad does not fucking like that, and he'll be like, "Son, it's on the third drawer on the bottom right." I was like, "Great," and I go to the third drawer on the bottom right, and it's not there. And I'm like, Dad, it's not here. And he's like, yes, it is. I'm like, I'm looking at it right now, Dad. And he's like, are you fucking questioning me? I'm like, yes, Father, it's not here. And then he yells at me for like 20 minutes. Like, you know, the little kid holding the flashlight oh, for their no. parent. He goes over and he's like, oh, it's not here. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, no. <laughs> so, no, my, da my dad, when he does something, he'll make it as perfectly as possible. Because mm. he's like, I have to look at this. I don't want to look at a shit job. Mm -hmm. 
How yeah. about the time your neighbor shocked himself? Which one? Your neighbor when he shocked himself? Your dad was out there watching him? Oh! Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, wow, that was a while back. I'm yeah, forgetting this one. you told me that story. Because yeah. you and him were just watching him and he shocked himself. <laughs> I think, what, what was he doing? He was doing something, and your dad was watching. He was, he was like, that's a live wire. He goes, yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, no. I think he was, like, changing some wiring in his house or something. And my dad's just, like, I go downstairs, like, hey, what are you doing? And he's just, like, just watching the neighbor. And I'm like, but you hate people. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, but I, I like watching this idiot. And he's like, why? He's like, that's a live wire. And it's like a, it was a thick one. Uh-huh. And I was like, oh, that could kill him. And he's like, yep. <laughs> sure enough he fucking electrocuted himself oh uh, he, he's fine yeah. but it was the idea I'm like is you know, he the was he he didn't fuck himself <laughs> I was like you know you, he's like you know that you could have helped him he's like but he wouldn't have learned a lesson <laughs> now he knows <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> thanks dad <laughs> I found out yesterday my, my cousin my, one of my, my dad's cousins he fell he got knocked off the the Cal State LA PE building Oh, shit. He was on the third floor working on it. A crane hit him. <laughs> he fell off. He landed on the ground. <laughs> he's, still, he's still alive, but he got all oh, fucked man. up. I mean, that's why we're laughing. Cause yeah, he's, yeah, yeah, cause he's good. He's, he's good. like, yeah, he got a lot of money out of it, but his back's all fucked up. Dude. Oh, man. He's just laughing. I'm like, that does sound like my, my cousin Willie. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. What was... Have you guys ever suffered, like, a workplace, like, accident? I had a glass go in my head. Oh, yeah. I can still see the scar on my hand right now. What about you? What about you? No, fortunately yeah. not. Probably got to knock on wood later, but no. Mm, no. no, I did. I, I was on a shoot where we were supposed to be in like super icy water, and that was like pretty dangerous. I think we were like right on the edge Good of job. like about to get frostbite, and then they stopped All the right, shoot. Right, 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 right. Um, but I think that's the closest I've ever been to like getting injured. <laughs> yeah, I put my hand up when a window, we used to have like, they call them suicide windows because the way they open mm-hmm. and it came crashing down and I put my hand there, my hand went through the glass Oh! and I had like three sh- chunks of glass oh. in here and I started picking I... them off Yeah. and I was like putting, like pouring, uh, we had hydrogen peroxide in mm-hmm. them and that was burning me, but I, oh. I started fainting from the oh. blood. Oh. So I passed it out in the hallway and, the, and I called Chris cause Chris was working at pro at the time and I'm like, Chris. He goes, and he's like, hey, Jason, what's up? He's all happy because yeah. he's having a yeah, good day. Right. I'm like, Chris, I need your help. And I'm like fainting. And he goes, oh my God. are you okay? He goes, no, I'm dying. <laughs> he comes in. He sees me on the couch. There's blood pouring out. He goes, mm-hmm. oh, my God. <laughs> he's like, what the fuck happened here? Did you like have to like raise your hands? No, no, no I'm like passing out. I'm no, on the yeah, couch. Like, yeah, so that's my bad. My hands are just dripping blood. Yeah, because it's I, down. Mm-hmm. Like, and then, uh, Did you ever get stitches for that? No, I just let it heal. But I think there was glass <laughs> that just healed. Let it heal. I, just, I just put a bandaid over. Natalia the next day comes and then Paige heard about it because mm-hmm. Paige comes to the hospital. What's with all this blood? <laughs> I, like, they look like a horse. Why show. didn't no one clean this up? You probably could have sued that month for it. Well, they, I could have because technically, well, I was more concerned about if there was any fucking molds on that glass because that should. Oh yes. yeah. Yep. So. I didn't sue him. I'm like, I'm okay. I'm back. And then I, I like, I, I showed the entire. Dude, it was, it was like a scar that went like this. God. Oof, it was bad. You didn't get workers comp or anything like that. No. Why not? <laughs> My that company can't afford workers. Oh, that okay. company can't that's af- can barely afford to pay me. Yeah, all right. That's that's fair. Dang, dude. Uh, the most I've suffered for like my job was um. When you pulled your back. No, that was for class. <laughs> that's for work <laughs> that's for, for my future work no uh it was on a shoot for and i think i could talk about it. there's nothing criticizing the, the company uh but uh pepsi i booked a pepsi commercial oh, oh. the sweat the sweat so mm-hmm. uh i get very 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 conscientious about me sweating because i sweat a lot even about even sitting here even if it's a mildly hot room or a cold room i sweat a lot so i get very self-conscious about it so when i heard that i booked this this commercial for for pepsi i was like you know what and I'm going to be outside. It's going to be a long time. If you have lights, I'm going to start sweating. I'm going to dehydrate. No. For two and a half days. No. And I did. And mind you, knock on wood, I have never fainted from like dehydration, <coughs> overheating, nothing. I've never fainted. Um, so I'm like, all right, I got it. I'm maintaining. I'm eating. But, you know, I'm like as little water as possible. Mm. Great. <clears throat> so we get there and um, they tell me, all right, Ryan, you're going to be a groomsman. All right, cool. Great. He's like, you guys are going to be partying. You're going to be doing this. You're going to be enjoying the, oh, it's the morning. It's, uh, you guys can look it up. Uh, it's called The Mess We Miss. 
uh, by Pepsi. Look it up on YouTube. Uh, and I'm, uh, I mean, like, the last shots. And so the first part is we're, it's like fucking six in the morning or five in the morning. And we're at the top of the skyscraper in downtown Los Angeles because it's supposed to get mm-hmm. the shot of, wow, it's coming up, the sunshine, the new mm-hmm. beginning to the world because it's during the pandemic. Mm-hmm. Um, it is fucking frigid. And oh. we are only in the white collared shirt for like a suit. That's all we have and like pants or whatever. But there is no undershirt. It's just the white collared shirt. And mind you, my temperature control is not good. So it, when it, it gets cold, it's fucking freezing. The guy who's next to me, who's like the guy, you know, the, sipping the drink, the cola, the, the, cola, the Pepsi. You're going to come after me now. Um, this guy, he's a cool dude, but holy fuck. The extras who are like the bride and groom, and like the friend of the bride, they have coats. They, they're warm. They're like, all right, yeah. kind of, they put the coats, but they can't give us the coats because we're almost taking it immediately. I'm supposed to take a sip. Pass it on to him. He's like, oh, wow, sharing your germs with me and it's all safe. Pepsi. Because uh, that's the indication. Is, that, yep. You know, we can go back to this lifestyle again. <laughs> this fucking guy keeps chugging the fucking Pepsi every take. We do about like 12 takes. He's like, hey, bro, I got a piss, dog. He's like, what, is there a bathroom up here? I'm like, dude, it's the top floor. There's nothing. He's like, where's the next bathroom? And the PA is like, oh, that's like 10, 10 floors down. Really? Fuck. And I'm like, Dude, have you been drinking the whole fucking thing? He's like, you haven't? I'm like, no, dude, I'm an actor. I took a mild sip and I moved my throat to make it look like I drank. Oh, shit, dude. <laughs> and there's a shot where I have to hold the drink in a specific way. It has become so cold. And mind you, I've never had not the sensation of being able to control my body. I could not close my hand. Mm-hmm. There's a shot where, yeah. and like, they didn't use it, but I was like, I'm looking on my hand like, <laughs> and I'm like, move, move. Yeah. <laughs> and all I and all I hear the, the director, wonderful people, they were like, all right, bravo, just hold, t- hold it a little tighter, move it to the left. And I'm like, <laughs> I mean, You're this trying. would be dramatic, but I'm like a tear in my eyes. Right. I was like, I can't. And the yeah. guy's like, oh shit. <laughs> he goes, one PA just goes over and goes, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, thanks. Oh, no. <laughs> and they shoot it. Great. We think it's over. No, there's a shot where, like, it's a Jewish wedding in specific because, you know, we raise the, the thing. Mm-hmm. And, it's like, da, 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 da. and, like, Ryan, he's like, you're ha- happy-go-lucky. You have the energy. Great. We're going to put you up front. Um, we need you sweating. He's been you're dehydrated. Like, Wait a minute. I'm like, I I'm like ex- have been training for me? the opposite moment. I was like, what, what do you mean? I, uh, we're sweating. He's just like, yeah, bravo. Like, it's a big party. You guys are there, this, this, and that. He's like, it's going to be easy. They had to spray me. They, they dumped four bottles of water on me the first one went on me yeah it, it, it wet and my it shirt cold. it wet my shirt my skin straight up absorbed it like as the, when they dumped it they moved walked back to the camera that i right, uh, get the camera ready why does he look dry he just dumped a bottle of water on him did you tell him you were dehydrating no i <laughs> <laughs> don't need to know that so <laughs> this is this is the commitment for anybody watching this if you ever hire me as an actor this is how far i'm willing to go so I told them, hey, bravo, you know, this is very cold water. He's mm-hmm. like, you know, it's, it's, it was technically non-union. But mm-hmm. they were still like, hey, we're not going to fuck you up. Right. And I told them, do whatever the fuck you have to. If this is the shot we need, this is the shot we need. So I have to, and they were supposed to originally put them like on a, on a platform. Yeah. But the platform didn't work or couldn't hold the actor up right. Mm-hmm. So they got the four strongest dudes. And since I was part of the fucking thing, I had to be it. So we had to lift that. And we had to lift the human being up. And cheer for a minute each take. Oh, we God. shot that oh, seventeen my God. times. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah And even yeah, the guys yeah. were getting like, "Yo, this is not worth it," which is one hundred percent correct. You know, that's not yeah. what they signed up for. But like, I rallied the team because I'm like, "This is my fucking close-up shot. I'm getting mm-hmm. this. <laughs> it's getting in the take." So yeah, yeah, it's pretty much it. So they said, "Ryan, you know, the water isn't working. Like, why is your skin absorbing it so quickly?" And I'm like, "Ah, oh, yes." <laughs> <laughs> it's not my skin. I don't know. And so, and so um. Uh, they put this like oil on it that make uh. it look very sweaty. Mm. And they get to the camera like it just doesn't seem right. Mm-hmm. So they're like, all right, Ryan, this is the last take because we have to move on. I said, okay. And he's just like, we're going to ask you to lift it up again. And they apologized to everybody. You know, they gave him a little extra money, whatever. Um, and they also appreciated that I was like rallying them. Like, guys, don't worry. Like, we're going to get this shit done. It's going to be easy. Mm-hmm. Like, all right, problem. Because they realized the shit that I'm getting put through. Mm-hmm. Two of them, they're like, yeah, I was going to complain, but they're putting you to the fucking ringer, man. Yeah. And I was like, hey, this is my job. Because like, I'm getting paid more than them. I was like, it's, yeah. it's only fair. They're like, all right, Ryan, here's what we're going to do. You're going to stand, you know, down, 
because I always do a count and then they go up, they start rolling. So we're gonna dump a bottle of water on you, right? You're gonna lift up, be up, be camera, we set you set, then we're gonna dump another bottle on you. You're gonna cheer, 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 halfway through it, another bottle. Just to make it look like I'm fucking partying hard and it's sweaty and it's disgusting, you know, germs and all that. Great. Okay, cool, no problem. Here we go. Three, two, one, they put the bottle, I feel my hair, great, go. Boom, we're cheering, we're cheering, I'm cheering my heart out. And then for a split second before the second bottle's about to dump on me, I'm like, don't I have oil in my in my forehead? <laughs> the oil, as I'm looking up to look at the groom and the camera, oh, to get the, camera the oil gets directly into my <gasps> eye. And it's a type of oil that isn't like, you know, if you guys yeah. turn your eye, you can open your eyes. Right. No, this is searing pain. Because oh it's a specific Shit. type of oil. <laughs> yeah. I have to cheer for a minute. If I close my eyes, I'm not going to open them again. So you just power through and it? For a minute, I power through it, cheering as the water, and they yeah. pour another bottle on me. More oh, oil. More, more oil. That was the take. Mm-hmm. If you see the video, I know exactly who it was. Like That was the take they chose, because it was like, it's do or die now, motherfucker. Oh my uh, and I cheered for a minute straight at this. And even the crowd, the director was like, damn, this guy's fucking hype. All right, cool, 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 cool. Like, uh-huh. He's like dancing in pain or something. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, all right, and cut. And I still had my eyes open, like trying to, you know, get him away from the ear, the eye. The, right. Just lower it. And I just slowly go up and I go, oh! <laughs> and the, the, the director, the producer, and the man, like, what's wrong? It's like, no Fuck! Oil. And I'm like, what's wrong? It's like the oil, and the people are like, "Oh shit, we put oil on him!" Oh my god! And I'm just on the floor, fucking motherfucker. Did he just pay you more for that? Eh, I don't, I don't think so. What? Because <laughs> it wasn't on a contract. No, like I could have just said no. Yeah, know? well, yeah. they didn't pay hazard pay or anything. Uh, like no, because it wasn't really hazardous. It was just a, a oil. It was oil. It was oil <laughs> that's supposed to be meant like that. It's not really like considered hazardous since it does its job. It was just the bad combination mm-hmm. and just how sensitive my eyes are to that shit. I see. And it just fucked me up. Dang. But at the end, I didn't even say, like, I need help. I'm like, did we get the shot? <laughs> and then the guys were like, damn, this guy's fucking committed. He's like, yeah, bravo, we got the shot. I'm like, good. Fuck you. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. <laughs> my eyes. And I spent, like, ten minutes. Like, they, the, the people helped me, like, just to get whatever I could out of my eyes. Um, so, yeah, guys, that's how committed I am to your projects. I'll man, do it. acting is so weird. Like, it's just your job to... To get water dumped on you and just act like you're having fun. <laughs> like, it, they put you through the weirdest situations and you just have to be like, ha <laughs> like, There has not been I've, a set that I have been on that I have not been injured by the end of it. Wow, really? There, has, you, there has not been a single set. Whether it's like actor? me being background, yeah. I've gotten hurt one way or another. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I'm the, for anybody who doesn't know, uh, I'm the spokesperson for this uh, Am Better Health Insurance over in Texas. I think it's coming over here. It's California. Mm. Um... At the end of the shoot, uh, oh my god, let me tell you this fucking journey, dude. So, I was hired to do to do uh, medical jargon, pretty much mm-hmm. for a health insurance company. They're cool people, not bashing it. But man, was it not the hardest thing I've ever done? I had to do it both in English and Spanish. Mm. Mind you, I'm very sensitive to heat, so I sweat really easily. It is Texas, 95 degrees, if not more, high humidity. And you're and wearing the, a jacket. And they're like, you know what, you look good in. Put you on triple layer, another ja- a, a yeah. denim jacket. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now for this scene, you're going to be running and jogging with these joggers while talking about the wonderful additions to the healthcare plan system. And there's an ATV that's like, you know, has the camera, is rolling. I have to keep up with the ATV and the joggers oh in turning like, running like this. Speaking, <laughs> right? In both English and Spanish. I did that for a week straight. Wow. Oof. Doc, I'm not going to lie to you. I cried on Wednesday. Yep. But yep. then I'm like, this is what I do. <laughs> and I powered through that shit. By the end of it, that wasn't even the part of me getting hurt. I'm like, everybody's like, dude, holy shit, bro. Like, they knew it was a fucking ringer of a mm-hmm. job. <laughs> At the end, I'm like, all right, we're done. We finished the photos. They, everybody's congratulating me and taking off the clothes. And part of me is like, oh my God. And I put my hands up by the door frame, right, of the, the trailer. I'm like... Like right there, it's like, wow, I made it through a whole shit without getting hurt. And the wind blows the door, my fingers within the crack, and snaps my fucking thumb right here. It just goes, and it turns black. Oh. Like it's done. Oh. Like it, it broke the nail and fucked up. And I'm like, oh. He spoke too soon. 
So would you say you have a lot of bad luck? Oh, he, Compared, yeah. Your mom what, has the good luck. You have the bad luck. Uh, one of my old nicknames that I've had before from different people is Bad Luck Bravo mm. and Rabbit Foot. Mm. That means that for other people, I am lucky for them. Mm. I help them. I, I, them in, I'm in their life. It's lucky. But like the rabbit who lost the foot, it's not so good for the <laughs> rabbit who lost the foot. <laughs> so yeah, I do. That's, that's, that's actually, that's one of the things that inspired an idea that we're, that we're working on that we'll have at some point of just me and my horrible luck with things in life. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you forgot about that. <laughs> well, anyways, guys, so I think we're going to end it up right there. And uh, let us know in, in the comments below if you have any bad luck stories that you want to share with us. And hell, we'll even read them on the podcast and see what's up. But as always, guys, thank you so much for uh, tuning in to this episode of show title pending. You forgot yeah, the title. We still don't know. Uh, I'm Bravo. Jason. Toby. Cynthia. And I forgot to cut to that camera. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Wow.